Hi everyone, my name is Chef Gitao Williams, Chef de Party at Fairmont the Norfolk Hotel, a luxury hotel in Nairobi City that has been that has been open since 1904. And today I'll be doing some of the dishes that we normally do here. Some of the dishes that I'll be doing, I have a corn salad, which is a cold starter. The next meal is a tomato soup, which is still a starter, but a warm starter. And our main course will be, will be the beef tariata. So, of course, we'll start with our starters, which is tomato soup. Uh, most of ingredients that we use for tomato soup, they are outsourced from our Rocco market. And one of them is carrots, celery, ricks, tomatoes, garlic, and ginger. And when you are, we are stuffing, we are supposed to stuff with some mascarpone cheese, some pesto to add some flavor. So what we, no, we normally do, we just take our onion. Uh, when we, we take uh, onion, carrots, celery, and leeks, uh, we normally call it mayapua. Mayapua is a flavoring agent to the soup because when we normally prepare our tomato soup without the mayapua, that can't make it a soup. So to make it a soup, we use celery, ricks, and carrot, which we call it mayapua. Without all that, that we can call it tomato juice or something else. So what we normally do with uh, our mayapua, of course, what I'm supposed to do, I will take my gloves. The reason we, we wear gloves when we are doing our meals is for hygienic purpose. Of course, we made our gates. Our, our gates is our priority, so their health is our first priority. Then we take our mayapua. Mayapua is said some celery, leeks, carrot for flavoring our soup. We normally cut them lovely because finally we will blend our soup. That is leeks. I'm very sure in your local market you can just walk in and find celery, leeks, and you can do some nice soup at your place. <coughs> That's celery, and we have some carrots. Then a little bit of onion. Red onion is very nice for the soups and sauces. And it's always readily available at our markets. Then here is our mayapua, it's lady. Now we will lose, we'll uh, make sure our pan is very hot so that we can cook our mayapua here. It's a, we use some olive oil. It's one of the best ingredients. We prefer using olive oil because it's, uh, it's not uh, compelling to other oils. It's one of the healthiest oil. Make sure when you are doing some this soup at your place, eh, you get uh, well, well farmed tomatoes, organically produced because we really need a taste in our soup, especially we don't want a soup that is tasteless. So we'll give it a little bit of time so that we can add tomatoes. For those uh, people who prefer a light, light meal to take, those people who say they don't want to take a heavy meal at the night, here is one of the options. Tomato soup will do very well, so our tomatoes cut into chunks. So something we need to add, it is basil. We have basil here, it goes very well with the soup. Also, you will cut them roughly. In terms, it got some nice aromas and taste. Eh? 
put some water here for the Then we let our soup to boil for some allowed 15 minutes. We will bread it, then strain it, then reboil it, and that's how we'll have a good soup with flavor. Eh? As our soup continues boiling here, we will have uh, to do something else. We can try our corn salad here. All right. So mainly, our corn salad, the name suggests, we really need to use the corn, of which you have the corn lady. We normally use this corn salad. It's a sweet corn salad, not the normal corn that we find on our, on our roadside. So ingredients, we have corn, we have uh, leeks, we have uh, fresh dania, we have pepper, we have uh, lemon juice, we have our garlic, we have our mayo, and we have olive oil. So what we'll do, we need to roast our, we need to roast our corn. What we'll do, we'll do it uh, slightly over the pan. We, we take some spring onion. In your mix, mixing bowl, you take your spring, spring onion, you slid it. And mostly we, we use this, the near stock again. So this one will, in our corn salad, we fill it a bit crunchy and it will add flavor for it. Remember, we don't have to put a lot of soft uh, ingredients there, and so already corn is a little bit hard compared to like uh, these uh, dania leaves. Eh? So you put some stock, which is very rich. Eh? Most of the people think that leaves are the one that leach with flavors, aroma, and nutrients, but stock is the one that uh, carries everything. So we slate them too. So this pepper, remember, all our ingredients apart from this one are cooked. So we need this pepper because it's very crunchy. We need to soften it by grilling it and give it some flavor. Eh? Still we do it over the pan. We'll need some olive oil. I also needed to have some brown color, not really black, but brown, eh? Once you put salt, olive oil, and your pan is very hot, you'll just see from bay itself coming, eh? So you don't really need to go in the small and ask the weather to some an ingredient that uh, brings up the from bay. So I was looking for this color, but uh, I'm very sure when you eat a, eat a boiled corn and a roasted corn, you will feel the difference. Same here. I, I, I read this color, it's a part of preferring. When you use a, uh, when you use a, uh, maybe steamed, you, you feel the difference between roast and the boiled one, so. So after boiling our sweet corn, we will grill it, of course. Then we'll have uh, our corn out of cob so that we can have, you won't take time to struggle getting the, the meat of the cob, so. So from there, we need our feta cheese. That's why I said it's very rich and very healthy. Feta cheese is a 
This cheese is a uh, milk generated uh, cheese. We no also normally uh, get them from our local suppliers. So I will mix garlic and some mayo to have garlic aioli or garlic mayo. So I'm plating my salad. I just put it in a bowl. Remember everything we do here, it is fresh delivered early in the morning. Eh? Yes, also we need some lemon juice for flavor still. You just need to squeeze over it. And some olive oil. Eh? Some olive oil helps it to look a little bit tiny. And remember, olive oil, it's very healthy. For those people who take olives, eh? it comes from the Olive seeds, well, well squeezed, so it's very healthy. I'm very sure most of people take uh, olives. And here is our corn salad. Simple presentation, looking nice. You can wow your husband, your wife with it. Simple, simple instruction. You can do it at home, eh? And when you are in CBD, you can just last 15 minutes. You will have done and gone back to your office. Beef tagliata, it's one of tender meat. Of course, we have to marinate it with salt and pepper. Some olive oil will do well. So, we marinate it very well to have it. So, I have just used salt and pepper, very simple. Well illustrated, something you can do from home. And then pan to pan sear it. And that's our tariata there. Cooking, I need some potatoes, some mushroom as the part of accompaniment. Also, those people who don't love soup, salads, and steak is a priority like me. This one is the quickest meal you can take here at Fairmount because it's very tender, cooks very quickly, no time sip pray, and within 15 minutes, your meat will be done. We normally, when you come here, we normally find a waiter asking you how, need, how you need your meat. Mostly, you can take it Either well done, medium well, medium, rare or medium rare. It is your preference. You can see it's cooking. Mostly, personally, I prefer medium to well steak, which is very juicy because you'll be left with some juice, not really rub, not really. Well done. So we need some potatoes, part of accompaniment. Baby potatoes. Remember, all ingredients that we are using here, something 
by the road you can find them your local market from local farmers Atalieta is almost there so you can opt to pansia it or you can uh, opt to grill it option is yours but mostly Taliata can do well either pan-seared or uh, grilled, you can see. Remember, I, I just used salt and pepper, but I will add some herbs for the flavors. We have our rosemary. As I said earlier, we normally have our herb gardens here. That's where we source our herbs. We have rosemary there. We have them. So butter is one of our agents that are used by chef to prefer meats, vegetables. So I'll put some butter for flavors. So I use retro oil. So our taliata is almost there. We also need some potatoes as part of our accompaniment. Some salt and pepper, of course. I also need some cherry tomatoes. Mm, very nice. Before I fry my potatoes and cherry tomatoes, First, you have to blanch them, just using water and some salt. Right? So, I need to fry some mushrooms still. When we are frying most of our items, we use our olive oil. because cholesterol is not part of us. We really want something here because we need something our guests will really appreciate. There, there must be always a Parmesan tricks from Parmesan cheese and Lucora. That's a, how traditionally made tagliata half, you can see. So I will make my Parmesan shaving simple. I'll use my tiny knife. This is what we call shavings. Parmesan is very healthy and very rich. You find some people, they, are, they really take daily product, but they don't love milk. Cheese is an option if you don't really like taking milk. This is what we will use as our final for the beef. So, our mushrooms. Some salt, some pepper will do well. Give it a to cook. Butter, of course, a bit of butter. So, remember, we said tariata is an Italian word that uh, means slice. So, what I'll do, I'll slice my tariata.
cooked item, you use a yellow chopping board. Remember, it's for hygienic purpose. So here is our tariata. So we'll cut it, thin slices. Baby potatoes. Then from there, we have our mushroom ready. Remember I said, we have cherry tomatoes. Now this is not cherry tomatoes, cherry tomato confit because we have uh, fanciered them with olive oil and some herbs. Remember we had some parmesan trekking fritz. Do it like this. You do it like this. And it is one of the colorful meal you can find here at Fairmount the Norfolk. Very simple, very nice. Some instruction, you can see something you can do from home. Just as long as you have anything part of uh, these ingredients. So that's our main course, beef tariata, served with the mushroom, baby potatoes, cherry tomato corn beef, parmesan flakes, and rucora. Okay, as you can see, our meal is ready. Of course, we did our two starters and main course, ready to serve for the guests. You can see our corn salad, you can see our tomato soup, you can see. normally serve it like this. Yes, and we have our main course, beef tariata. Remember, it's an Italian dish. Of course, when you are in town, you can last here for a 15 minute steak, which is beef tariata. Thank you. I have been your chef, Chef uh, Guitar William from Fiamon the Norfolk, uh, the heart of the city, a luxury brand. Thank you.